Hi, I'm Sam. By the way, I live in Germany, so sorry if my English might sound a bit strange at times. I better read out the script. Um, but today I need to ask the question, is GoDaddy the fastest way to ruin your online business? I might have found a major GoDaddy bug, and I'd like to share it with you. I'd like to strongly encourage you to try it out for yourselves. Um, <clears throat> I've been in contact with GoDaddy support for over one month now, but either... Well, I get the impression either uh, they don't understand the seriousness of the situation or they ignore it or most likely they don't know how to solve it. Um, so I'd like to reach out to the online community, to you guys um, for support and um, just for you to try it out for yourselves. Because if you use GoDaddy the way I do, the marketing section, you might as well lose thousands of dollars each month without even noticing it. Uh, so, as for the problem, it's all about the marketing section, the use of member accounts and private web pages. As you might know, you can create private web pages on your website, so only members can access these pages. Maybe you have a free ebook or some kind of giveaway uh, on these web pages or other stuff your customers pay for. In my case, I run an online academy and I have a lot of online lessons on my website on these private pages for my customers. The problem suddenly started about a month ago. Uh, my customers now desperately try to log in my private web page, but they get the following error message. Something went wrong. Try again later. Below this error, it says, reset your password. And even below it, it says, don't have a member account? Create one here. So. The problem is my customers pay to get access to my academy's lessons and my customers expect it to work, being able to log in. After several times of trying to log in, uh, my customers might even succeed, but they will often get a forced logout after just a few minutes. And when this happens, they try to log in again and again it doesn't work. They get the same message, it starts all over again, try again later. The members area seems to be highly unstable. So just imagine you have customers who have a paid subscription and they can't access the content they pay for. This is the worst case, of course. Uh, if my customers get the error message, something went wrong, try again later, they won't. <laughs> they expect it to work and they will leave and ask their money back, of course. I already lost a lot of customers thanks to this GoDaddy bug and I have told them several times. Someone there knows it. The problem is, I guess not everybody of you will try to log into their own member area. Um, it depends what you have on these private pages. So I strongly encourage you, try it out. Um, if you use the members login, the login area on your GoDaddy website, please create a member account for yourself and test it out for at least one week at several times of day. I have found out that the problem might be triggered when I upload, re-upload my website, my website content. So after updating my website with GoDaddy, the problem might occur. But the problem also occurs without me re-uploading my website. And the problem might even be gone for one or two days or even three days and then it reoccurs it happens all over again so if i don't know better i would say godaddy simply doesn't have enough server capacity so when many customers uh, are logging into the godaddy logging in the godaddy system fails but if i'm right this would be a catastrophe so <laughs> because godaddy is all about so server space so please try it out for yourself. Try out logging into your website's member area for at least several times of the day. Test it out for your for some weeks and see if you get the error code, uh, error message, something went wrong, try again later. You might lose a lot of money without even being aware. Um, and to make it clear, I already cleared the cookies. I already used the private browser. And I already sent GoDaddy a HAR file, H-A-R file, for them to debug the problem. Huh? Uh, several days ago, the, the HAR file clearly shows the error. 
but for almost 10 days now, I don't hear anything from them. So GoDaddy support is very polite, but being polite alone doesn't solve any problems, of course. And hiding your head in the sand is not a good sign for this company. So please, let's solve this problem together with the online community, or let's face that GoDaddy might just not be the right business partner anymore. The one they used to be, they used to be good. I'm I'm a fan. Yeah, I love GoDaddy. So what happened, GoDaddy? I know you can do better. Uh, so let's hope this problem will finally be taken care of. Otherwise, I will have to leave as a customer and uh, create it myself. You know, I have a programmer. We can set up our own member area, our own website. So who, who needs GoDaddy if it doesn't work? I spent several hundred dollars on GoDaddy each month. So it's sad that we don't get better service. So thank you for listening. And please let me know in the comments what you found out.